Hello and welcome to the second part of establishment registration. In the previous video, we have seen how an establishment registers and verifies their email on this portal. So in this video, we are going to see the second step, which is the profile filling. So the establishment after registering and verifying their email are going to log in from this page by clicking on establishment login. And now I can log in with the same email ID and password which I have provided at the time of registration. So yeah, now you can see how a non-reimbursement establishment has registered on this portal. So as you can see, there are five steps like the basic details, infrastructure for training, uploaded documents, adding the sublocations and the requirement details. So this is how you need to fill your profile in order to go ahead and onboard apprentices. In case of a full reimbursement, there are going to be two more steps in addition to this five. So in the basic details, you can see all the data has come pre-filled from the registration form. And if you want to edit something, you can go ahead and edit from here. Let's say I don't want to edit anything and I just want to go save and continue. So now I am at the infrastructure training details. So what is the infrastructure training? Basically, what is the training I want to provide to these students? That details I'm going to provide here. So I'm giving the contact person like who is going to give training, who is the head of training. And I'm going to fill in few details. Does the establishment have lecture rooms and all for conducting group meetings? Does the establishment have a technical library under the training department control? Does the establishment have hostel facilities for accommodating apprentices? So there are few questions like this, which you need to be answered. And uh, based on your uh, answers, you can just select yes or no and continue with the registration. So I'm going to save and continue. So the third one is the uploading of documents. As you can see, there are three documents asked, which is the uploading of logo, certificate of incorporation and the pan tan document. So logo is not a mandatory field, but if in case you have a logo for your company, you can definitely upload it in here. So now I have uploaded all the three necessary documents and I'm going to save and continue. So you can see this is the head office details. If you want to see, I, I can view the details. Let's say I have some sublocations. I can add any location from here. If I have any sublocations, I can click on add location and I can add the sublocation details over here. So how many manpower is there in this sublocation that is also to be given. So I click on add details. So now you can see there is a sublocation also added. Let's say uh, I have completed adding my head office and sublocation details. I will click on have you finally added your location. Yes, I have added all my location. So I am now I have been asked to give the top five manpower count based on the educational qualification and specialization. So let's say I have people from graduate in engineering. Let's say I have the sector. So in such a way, I need to give the top five educational qualifications and their count in here.
now that I have given the top five, I'm going to click on save and continue. So we are at the final stage, which is adding the requirement. As we have chosen non reimbursement, we are going to give how many students we want to take without reimbursement only. So the first question is whether I have engaged any apprentices in the NAPS. NAPS is a different portal. If you have engaged from there, you can give a yes. If not, you can select no. So the education type. So here comes the apprentices requirement. This is the section where you are defining how many students you want from a particular education type course and specialization. So let's say I want few students from graduation and general stream, from BBA and from business analytics. How many do I want? I want 10, let's say. And I'm going to give um, a stipend of somewhere around 8,000. So you can see now the amount must be greater than or equal to 9,000. So basically for a graduate, you need to give a minimum stipend of 9,000. Next, let's say we want to give for a diploma candidate to Let's say we just want to In case of diploma, the minimum amount is 8000. So now I'm going to click on submit with which I can see all the details of mine have been completed and I'm going to click on preview. So I can see my corporate logo, whatever I have uploaded, the infrastructure details, uploaded document details. You can view them from here if you want to. You can see how many locations you have. This is a sublocation in here. If you want, I can see the details from here of my sublocation. I can see the top five manpower count which I've just given and the requirement detail. So if I feel everything is okay, it is well and good. If not, I can just go to click on edit and edit my details once again if needed. So as my profile is completely ready, I'm going to click on final submit. So once I click on final submit, it says, thanks for registration of your profile. Your profile has been submitted successfully. So I want to see the status of this. Now you can see I have finally submitted my profile on August 8th and the request is pending with training officer with the state Delhi and South Delhi district. The status is pending. So now I have to wait for the approval of this particular establishment from this training officer. 